Now, this is a story all about how our last drop flip turned upside down. And we'd like to take a minute with this on a scale. We'll tell you how everything in our life's not for sale. In Relis, California, born and raised on the playground, this where we spend most of our days. Chilling out, maxing, and relaxing, all cool, and all shooting some people all outside of school. When a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in our adversity, we didn't give in, and tall we stood. Our dignity, now we were ready for adversity. They tried to peer pressure us in every way, but you can't buy us, now that shit we don't play. We're not for sale, we're just gonna kick it, plus that's just illegal, you know where to stick it. At this class, yo, this bad part, discipline discussions, hope we pass. Is this what being moral feels like? Hmm, this might be alright. We whistled for a jag, and when it came near, the license plate said kinda had a heart in the mirror. If anything, we can say that this jag was rare, but we thought not, forget it. Yo, dude, let's share. We pulled up to the studio about 7 or 8 and we yelled to the Jaggy, yo dude, see you later. Looked at our studio, feeling prepared, yo stay in your seats, our show's about to air. Trying to get that work in 2K, bro? Yeah, man. Let's see what you got. Alright, man. Let's do this. Kobe still got it. Oh, man. He doesn't. <laughs> Watch this, Al. Woo! <laughs> Dude, can you believe what they did at the cafeteria, bro? Dude, what'd they do, man? Dude, you don't know, like, it's so messed up that we're on the basketball team and they, like, enforce us, like, it's mandatory for us to eat at the cafeteria and they raise prices. What? Yeah. No way. Did they just do that this year, man? Yeah, it's just for this year. Dude, not it's everything can be for sale, bro. I know, dude, it's like, what happened to the people just being good, you know? Yeah, I mean, like, they know that we're athletes and they know that we have to, like, eat and, we, and it's mandatory yeah. for us to go there. Yeah, it's and ridiculous. And they're forcing us to, they're gonna force upon us those freaking prices, bro. Dude, I guess they don't know that, like, everything's not for sale, man. Like, it can't be, you know? Every now and then, I feel like people should just help us out. Bro, just help yeah. anyone out, man. Just be good, man. Whatever. Yeah. Alright, so. I'm about to dunk on your ass right now. Cool. <laughs> You know what, man? Now that you say something, like, I've definitely thought of a lot of things when yeah. like, people have tried to take advantage of other people's situations. Right. It's, it's like nuts. Yeah, dude, I, I know exactly what you're saying, dude. It's like, people just don't, like, they don't want to do it just to be good anymore. People just, like, they just look uh, for, like, for themselves to, to get something out of it, you know? Yeah, they don't want to do it just to, to get, like, to satisfy that person and just to make that person happy and just be good. They just, it has to have, like, something to do with them, you know? Mm -hmm. It sucks, man. And I remember this time when... All right, that's it. Time to go to the store, get my groceries, see what I need. Oh, man, this one. Oh, this is expired. Should probably get some milk. Oh, uh, milk and bread. Seems like it. Yeah, that's about it. Milk and bread. Let's see what I need. 
notepad. Let's see what I need. Alright, I don't have any milk. And I need bread. Cool. Wait, wait, bro, you need some bread? Yeah, bro, I need some bread. Oh, dude, I need some too. Some bread. So what are you getting today, bro? Uh, I just came for some milk and bread, honestly. Yeah, me too. I think that's all I need. I'm gonna get that and I'll just get out of here. Yeah, man, I might, but it's, it's whatever, you know? Yeah? Yeah. Are you, so you might get some other stuff too? Yeah, dude. Yeah, I am, dude, balling out. out. I'm a ball. Just, I mean, dude, I'm just getting the bare necessities because that's all I need. And yeah, I'm gonna need a little more. Why would you get that though, man? It's more expensive. I don't care. Really? I need it. <laughs> and I'm gonna get it. Well, if you need it, bro. Oh, well, I think I'm good, man. Bro, I need more. We gotta go. Like, You don't need those right now. I'm getting them anyway. But you don't need them. I don't care. So you're just gonna waste money like that? Yes. You you never finish those, bro. Dude, I need, I need it all. But dude, I need it all. I don't care. I just don't care. Okay. You just want to meet at the front then? I'll just go here. You just go look for other stuff. Alright. Yeah, I got my bare necessities. Yeah. I just want it all. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. I just want it all. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, dude. You really need all this stuff? I thought you were just getting the bare necessities. Yeah, dude. I came in here trying to get the bare necessities. Dude, I'm just trying to take care of my household, man. Make sure I have the stuff I need, but this is just too much, bro. You sure you're gonna buy all that? All right, man. Well, I guess if you're so greedy, then go ahead. So I'm almost out of milk and bread again. Again? Yeah, dude. Oh my gosh. I went it's through that in like five, was it five days? Something yeah, like that. Same, bro. Yeah. Look, check this. Remember all the stuff I got? Yeah. I didn't even use any of it. Dude, I, I told you it was unnecessary, man. Uh, I should have just listened, bro. What's... What's up, Moo? What are you doing over there? Nothing much. Just sending an email to good old Professor Dumbledore um, asking about the assignment. What are you up to? Uh, I gotta write this like really important uh, letter. Like I really gotta write this and like get it to that get it to that person really soon. So yeah, I really gotta focus in and just do it. You know. Yeah. Good luck with your email. Thanks. Good luck to you. Technology, boy, this makes me have my stuff done so much faster. Sent. Well, wow, okay, cool. Yeah. Ooh. Got buckets. Go, go. Okay, done. Finally, I really gotta go take this letter to the post office and I will be back.
way to do this. It's taking so long, man. to myself on top of it all. Maybe I should go see that Buddhist monk. He might help me. chance to utilize and develop his faculties, your work. What do you do, young sir? I'm a carpenter. You're a carpenter. Good. To enable yourself to overcome your egocentricness by joining with other people in a common task, to bring forth your work to bring to other people of all kinds. You must know within yourself the consequence of what you do is fact that makes your work meaningless. What do you do to use for your work? I used to use tools, but now all these machines, upgraded technology just basically makes my work meaningless. Wait, do you know that for sure? We have two points of view. To become a slave of the machines, or to be the craftsman, the work, the passion yourself. Do you see anything within yourself? Only the craftsman can see. I guess I've never thought of it like that. But for the longest time I felt like I'm just a slave to the machine. What did your father do? Well, your father's father's did. And your father's father, father's father's father did. What did he do? They worked with their hands. They were carpenters. And that's what gives, gave my job meaning. I feel like now when I go back, I should just use my hands, as I always did, which is gonna give my work meaning back. Thank you, monk. Monk Siska Zuzi. Thank you very much. <laughs> 